Hello everyone, welcome to Infigya. In this very very exciting video of radical equation challenges, we are going to solve one best problem so far of radical equations. Problem is square root x plus 28 plus square root x minus 7 equal to fourth root of 28x. We have to find the real solution x. So let's get started directly. To eliminate this 7, 28, the term which is having 7. So let me consider x is equal to, let me write here, x is equal to 7 y or 70. So it equation will become 7 y plus 28 plus the square root 7 y minus 7 equal to fourth root of 28 times 7 y. Okay, now I will take se root 7 outside. So what is left? y plus 4 plus the square root y minus 1 equal to. I can consider 7 power, so root 7 would be outside. And if you will check, so 4 is left inside the fourth root. So it is fourth root of 4y. Now I will cancel root 7, root 7. Now it is this equation is free from 7 and 28. So let me write one more time y plus 4 plus square root y minus 1 equal to fourth root of 4y. Now I will give substitution. Let me consider the first one is a, second square root is b. That means a plus b equal to fourth root of 4y. Okay. Now I am going to use one algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b equal to a square minus b square. Okay. Now I will put in place of a, I will consider this one. So let me write a plus b directly as 4y fourth root times a minus b equal to a square a is square root y plus 4. So square would be free from square root. Minus b square. So minus y minus 1. I can cancel y. What is left? 5. So from here I am getting a minus b equal to 5 over 4th root of 4y. Let me put inside the box and see a plus b is fourth root of 4y. So I am going to solve this for a. Don't forget this substitution and don't forget to subscribe my channel also. Okay, thank you. Let's solve both the equations for a. a plus b equal to fourth root of 4y. a minus b equal to 5 over fourth root of 4y. Let me write here fourth root of 4y and a minus b is equal to 5 over 4th root of 4y. Add. Once I will add, both terms will get cancelled out. 2a is equal to 4y 4th root plus 5 over 4th root of 4y. Okay, what is a? If you will check, then a is a square root of y minus 4. You can check, take a pause, you can check. It is y plus 4. Okay. So let us put here 2 times a square root y plus 4 equal to fourth power of 4y or fourth root plus 5 over fourth root of 4y. Okay, take a square both sides. So after a squaring, both sides will have 4 times y plus 4 equal to this power 4 that means a square root would be left plus 24 over the square root of 4y would be left 
plus twice AB, so 10. Fourth part, this term will get cancelled out. Numerator, denominator, 5 would be left. Twice of 5 is 10. Okay. Now, if I will put the value, C, value of x, and then we will solve, then that process would be tedious. So, again, I am going to give one more substitution. And that substitution is 4y is equal to t square. This is our next substitution. So, here I am writing let. So, what is advantage of considering C? It would be T plus 25 over T plus 10 right hand side. Left hand side 4Y. So, I can write T square plus 16. So if you will expand 4Y, then T square and then 4 times 4, 16. Now, I need to multiply this equation by T. So let me multiply. So equation will give us t cube minus t square plus 60 minus 25 equal to 0. Up to this point, there is no issue or problem. Now what next? Okay, let us consider the rational root theorem plus minus 1 plus minus 5 plus minus 25 this is we will do and then we will start putting the value to find out first base solution but you won't get because this cubic equation don't have rational roots no rational roots now equation is cubic let's talk about this equation a bit okay if i will put t equal to 0 so that means our curve because of curve is cubic polynomial is cubic polynomial so its behavior would be minus infinity it would be minus infinity function would be like this once x tending to plus infinity function will reach to plus infinity once x tending to minus infinity function will move towards minus infinity if I will put t equal to 0, this axis is t, then it is giving us minus 25. This is minus 25. Okay. So, possibility is, I am not saying this is confirmed, but possibility is one root, one real root. One real root must be there. This is my perception. So, what I did, I considered this one the given polynomial as fx and c let me write it quickly okay once t is negative then all the terms all the four written terms would be negative so there won't be any solution for t negative come to t positive so let me find out few values let me let me write f of 1 if you will check it is coming out minus 19 negative f of 2 minus 9 negative f of 3 11 positive c f of 2 so there there is one solution and better is to write one real solution is in between 2 and 3 okay because of f2 is negative f3 is positive so that means if this curve is intersecting at one point so two otherwise the, this is cubic polynomial there are three roots one root is real which you can see we will find out using newton raphson method and the remaining two roots would be complex roots we will talk about that but just find out the solution first so, I will use newton ramson method. Let me write newton ramson method. Okay. So, that method states that xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus fxn over f dash xn. This is general formula. Okay. Now, let us find out quickly t1, t2, t3. So, as we can see, the root is in between 2 and 3. 
So what I will do? I will find out T1 first. So I am considering base 2. So 2 minus F of 2 over F dash of 2. This value is coming out 2.6428. Now T2 second iteration I will find out 2.6428 minus F of 2.6428 divided by F dash 2.6428. You will get this value as 2.5352. Then I am not writing again. T3 is coming out 2.531. T4, the last iteration, will get our answer 2.53 with its table fifth or sixth position. Okay. This is the only root of the equation. Which equation? The original one. This equation. Okay. Now, now, we have not converted this t into x. So t is there only. Now substitution number 1. Let me come back. Means Our substitution was 4y is equal to t square. So first we will find out y. t square over 4. So you will write 2.5313 whole square over 4. So this value is, if you will check, it is coming out 1.6018. And x, if you remember, we started the problem x is equal to 7y. So 7y. 7y, this value will be 11.2132 and so on. So ultimate solution is x is equal to 11.2132. Okay. Let's conclude this problem by last point, which I wanted to share with you ft is equal to ft square plus 60 minus 25. See it is monotonic increasing no doubt. It might possible that it is it is like that x tending to t tending to infinity function is going and behavior is showing properly minus infinity function is minus. So it is possible that we are getting few roots here. Now to understand that better you can see if I will consider these two functions t cube plus 60 then its rate of change means rate of growth that would be bigger than t square plus 25 once it is crossing once t is greater than 2 2.513 that value it won't means you won't get any value what I am trying to show you the summation of t cube and 60 will be more positive than the summation of t square plus 25. So this value would be always positive. So you won't get any sign change. Descartes is law. I hope you like this video. Our final answer is 11.213. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.